The Shagai Stokey man, and I'm connected to everything. Um, my name is Carl Michael Stokey Kennedy. I grew up in a neighborhood called White Lock. Um, it's in the middle of Reservoir Hill, and we are in London, England. TSP is an acronym for the Stokey Project. Um, myself included, I have um, a very, very thorough, loyal, dedicated staff, starting with Nikel McNeil. She's the day-to-day -day chief operator. Craig, they call him Mooch. You know, he, Craig Mooch Davis, he's another guy that's been very, very supportive of the mission and the vision. I have artists like Skies, Marby and Scola. He, in, in, the, in the middle of a transition as well. Um, Silk Daddy, he's the comedian on the roster. I have uh, another artist by the name of Mayno. He's one of the dopest producers out of Chicago. What inspires me to keep going is, first of all, my mom, she passed away in 1999, and um, a mantra that I established from her last dying words would never give up. And I have people that I look up to, mentors like Jay Brown of Rock Nation, Jay-Z, and those type of guys, and they inspire me to do more for my city, more for myself, and to create an empire and some type of conglomerate, you know, company where people can call it home and I can give back and I can serve in the same community that always supported me. Hey, girl never lie to me The front of flashing lights and watch out when the tide coming All these people that They can say about it that we can't tell me nothing I know it's all for the better and I'm never stunned I just want a girl who gon' really tell me something Hey. I, one of the things I, I try to teach and preach to people that I learned early on in my career was the importance of relationships. To me, relationships is the most key component to life. And if you have some very authentic relationships and it's reciprocated, then to me, that's the key to every ignition because people who trust you, respect you, and can really you know, work with you, what I learned and what helps me be successful is, is learning how to really define relationships. My younger self, I would probably tell my younger self to let my mind and my heart agree on anything I do in life. Because a lot of times people make decisions with their mind, their heart not in it and they regret it. And then if your heart in it and you don't think about it, then you make a mistake. For me, if I put my heart and my mind to something that's a reality, you know, and to me, that makes sense for me. So I would tell my young self to always make sure that my mind and my heart is in agreement with any decision I make in life. And I think if I do that, I will have no regrets. And you know, success, you know, I would love to be successful, but I want to be happy. I want to see my kids happy and my grandkids happy. And to me, that's success for me. If I can find a way to be consistent with being happy and healthy. <laughs> That's for sure. If you got a problem, nigga, please let me know. Shawty wasn't with me when I was dead, bro. That's the reason why I had to let her go. Riding with my brother to the end, that's for sure. If you got a problem, nigga, please let me know. Shawty wasn't with me when I was dead, bro. That's the reason why I had to let her go. Stress on my mind, had to pull me up a foe. I be getting high just to bounce out the lows. Coppers on my ass, so I had to get low. I would never change, I be posted by the stove. Me and Stan Juggin used to sell a lot of dough. Say he want the good, want the white, want the snow. Packs coming in, had to get him off the boat. Stack a lot of bread, gotta keep it by the low. Riding with my brother to the end, that's for sure. If you got a problem, nigga, please let me know. Shawty wasn't with me when I was dead broke. That's the reason why I had to let her go. Riding with my brother to the end, that's for sure. If you got a problem, nigga, please let me know. Shawty wasn't with me when I was dead broke. That's the reason why I had to let her go. Spin.